folks, this is going to be an update on the new Brava we got. So we unboxed the Brava yesterday and the Brava's been charging overnight. So it should definitely be fully charged now. So we're going to try the dry mop first today. Sort of goes from one end of the room to the other. So, this is supposed to pick up dry debris, grit, and hair. Doesn't look like it's going to take very long to do this dry no. mop. No, it looks like it's going to be quite quick. So that uh, sequence of tones indicates that it's finished then. Yes. Mm, finished. Okay. So, it's so that was um, well less than 10 minutes, probably okay. just under nine. Shall we see what it's picked up? Yeah. Not a great deal. That's a dry sweep. Mm. You can see it's picked up uh, food crumbs. Mm. And uh, I suppose it's better to get that on that pad and then before you start mopping. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it probably is worth using the dry mop yeah. first. So we're using a damp mop now. Paul's just filled the reservoir and we're going to put a bit of extra water on it as well. So we'll leave it to it and uh, see how long it takes it to mop the floor. And what it gets on. Yeah. So it's just finished the mopping and that took 20 minutes, which sounds right because it took less than 10 to do the dry. Yeah. So it's like twice as long. So let's have a look at the pad now. So what do you think, Paul? Well, there's obviously dirt on there. I suppose it's sort of spread more thinly than it would be on a Brava Jet mm. pad because a Brava Jet has a lot smaller pads. Then we've had the dry sweep as well. Yeah, that's got all the bits up first. So it looks like it's used a third of the water in the reservoir, so we're not going to put any more water in there. No, I don't think so. But we're going to dampen a cloth again, the second cloth that we're putting on. And we'll let it run again, and then we'll compare it with the first pad. So, there it's finished. Now let's see what this second pad's like. So that was the first one. And this is the second one. Still got some more, but not as much this time as you would expect. It's gone over the floor three times. Three please. times. Twice with a wet mop and once with a dry mop. And that's a total combined time of about... 50 minutes. 50 minutes, is it? So it should have another, uh, at least another hour, 10 minutes in it. So you probably only have to charge it up once every two days if you were putting it, it on every, every day. day. So do you think that's an adequate amount to put one dry cloth on and two wet mopping mops I per so. day? I think so, yeah. And we've not tried any diluted detergent. Yeah, so that's something uh, I think we'll try tomorrow. We'll try machine, putting yeah. some 
detergent on the cloths. Um, so we'll keep those two to one side mm -hmm. and see how it compar or compares tomorrow with some mm -hmm. detergent on. So it's the following day, we've just put it on a dry sweep and that's where it got up. And today we're going to try some detergent on the mopping cloth. So Paul's just mixed up a bit of this detergent with some water in a jug. battery light has just started flashing red but you did read somewhere didn't you Paul that um, you have to charge the battery up a few times before it gets its full capacity yeah apparently but it has nearly finished it's been on yeah, almost, it's almost 20 minutes yeah it's almost full force cycle mm -hmm. we did want to put another cloth on a wet mop but yeah. we, we can't like because wet it's wet mop without detergent this time but we can't we can't because it's uh, we'll running out of yeah. So it's done two today and three yesterday. That's five yeah. cycles. Yeah. Now I should have been able to do At another least six or seven. I yeah. Think. So it looks like when you first get them, it's best to leave them on charge overnight. Yeah. For the first few days. Mm -hmm. So it's just indicated that it's finished and it's gone back to its start position. So it did do a full mop. Um, but it will have to go back on charge now. So that was the first mop from yesterday. Water, no detergent. And this is the first mop from today. Water with detergent. Uh, I would say there's a little bit less there today. Mm -hmm. but I don't think that's because of the detergent. I think it's just the floor wasn't that dirty. I think so. So this one, which is the second one yesterday, which was water, no detergent. I think the water with detergent, the first one today, is uh, has picked up more dirt than this one. Yeah, yes, yeah, but not as much as the first one, but I think the, the floor was just dirtier with I the first just, one. Yeah. Mm. So, because we can't put the Brava on again, we put the two Brava jets on just with water. So, we don't want any detergent left on the floor. And I'll just leave the bra the jets on 20 minutes so it's a fair comparison okay. to how much they get up. Not much at all on the pads. We're just going to do a bit of a comparison between the bra the jet and this bra the 380. So obviously the bra the jets have got much smaller pads they've got a much smaller footprint yeah. so you can see it's much smaller this is for the Kipau branded uh, cheap mopping pads and for the Brava Jet it's, it's removable sticks on with velcro and then these cutouts tell the Brava which mopping pad you've got whereas the Brava 360 you've got two separate um, mopping heads that you fix the pads to. With the Brava Jet, you fill up the reservoir in the Brava Jet, which I would say is a lot smaller than the reservoir in the head oh, of the... Yeah, the wet uh, mopping yeah, head. Yeah, you can do quite a few moppings with the water in that one. The Brava 360 has got a built-in rechargeable battery, mm -hmm. which should last two to four hours. Yeah. Um, we'll do an update after we've had it a while and see. I'm sure it will after it's charged up and and then being used up and then recharged. I'm sure after a while that you will get that capacity. Whereas the Brava Jets, you've got to take the battery out and charge it up and they don't last that long do they? No. But you can see it's quite a small battery. Mm. They've got a different way of navigation. The Brav 360 uses the Cube. Q 
cube and uh, I think it uses the cube in combination with the wheel rotation and counting and also the, uh, the bump bar on the front. Whereas the Brava Jet just uses the bump bar. And the uh, rotation of the wheels. Yeah, the Brava 360 uses the weight to get force on the pad. Yes, it's it's much heavier than the, uh, than the Brava Jet. Whereas the Brava Jets use vibration. Yeah, the, the base plate of the Brava Jet, it, it vibrates uh, to help break up the uh, dirt on the floor. Comparing price, well, that depends. First Brava Jet I got cost me two hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. The second Brava Jet I got, I managed to get in a sale one six nine, so one hundred sixty nine pounds. And the new Brava I got again in a sale mm -hmm. for one hundred and seventy five plus ten pound postage. So it really depends if you can manage to get them when the on offer. On offer. In terms of, is one better than the other? I would say it depends what you want them for. The the big Brava's obviously better for a, a bigger kitchen. Yeah, for a bigger room, I would say the big Brava is better. Yeah. Because if you've just got one little Brava... That's going to take a long it time. It takes a long time. Even with two, it takes quite a long time. Mm -hmm. So for and you might have to recharge the battery, say three quarters. Yeah, of the way through. you have to keep filling kitchen. it up with water because the yeah. reservoir is small. So if you've got um, a fairly large room, then I would say the Brava three eighty is definitely the mm -hmm. best option. Yeah, but if you've got a small room or several small rooms, like a utility like a room, little bathroom, or, yeah, like we are, little toilet, little kitchen, utility, uh, yeah. I'd definitely go for Brava Jet because it can yeah. get into every little little corner. Yeah, the smallness of the device means that it can get into nooks and crannies more easily than the, uh, the large yeah. Brava. I mean, I don't think that the large Brava would get in all the places that the Brava Jet can in our utility, in mm. our bathroom. Mm. And if it's just a small room, then you don't have to change the battery in the Brava Jet you don't have to refill the reservoir. So it really depends on the size of the room. Yeah, yeah. And th that's the only, uh, I would say that's the only criteria. I think the cl cleaning performance gives you... It's pretty too. equal, it's I pretty would say. Equal, yeah. mm. Mm. So folks, I hope you found that helpful. We'll be back again in a few weeks time when we see if this battery will settle down and we will get the full capacity yeah which is about six or seven cleaning cycles on our kitchen floor of about uh, what 20 minutes a piece hopefully yeah. but that's it for this video thanks for watching as always folks and see you next time